The War of the Thousand Days, spanning from 1899 to 1902, was a devastating armed conflict that took place in Colombia. Fought between liberal and conservative factions, the war was rooted in political rivalries, socioeconomic disparities, and struggles for power and social justice. This article explores the causes, key events, and consequences of the War of the Thousand Days. Political and Socioeconomic Context at the turn of the 20th century, Colombia faced significant political and socioeconomic challenges. The liberal and conservative parties, representing opposing ideologies, engaged in bitter conflicts over control of the government, distribution of power, and social and economic reforms. The Thousand Days Revolt the war began in 1899 when liberal forces, discontented with conservative rule, launched a rebellion against President Manuel Antonio Sanclamen's administration. The revolt quickly spread, and the country descended into a full-scale armed conflict. Battle Lines and Regional Divisions The war witnessed regional divisions, with liberal forces primarily concentrated in the northern and western regions, while conservative strongholds were mainly in the central and southern parts of Colombia. The conflict drew support from various factions, including landowners, peasants, and disenfranchised groups seeking political and social change. Guerrilla Warfare and Devastation The war was characterized by guerrilla warfare tactics employed by both sides, including hit-and-run attacks, ambushes, and sabotage. The use of irregular forces and the lack of a centralized command structure led to widespread destruction, loss of life, and displacement of civilians. Humanitarian Crisis and Foreign Intervention the War of the Thousand Days had a significant humanitarian impact, with civilian populations bearing the brunt of the conflict. Both sides committed atrocities, including massacres and forced displacement. Additionally, the war attracted foreign intervention, with the United States and other countries providing support to their preferred factions, further exacerbating the conflict. Peace negotiations and end of the war Efforts to end the war and bring about a negotiated settlement gained momentum in 1902. Representatives from both factions engaged in peace talks, which culminated in the signing of the Treaty of Wisconsin. The treaty resulted in a power-sharing agreement, political reforms, and the election of a new president. Consequences and Legacy The War of the Thousand Days had far-reaching consequences for Colombia. The conflict resulted in a staggering loss of life, estimated in the hundreds of thousands, and inflicted significant economic damage. It further deepened political divisions and hindered social progress in the country political reforms and socioeconomic changes. In the aftermath of the war, Colombia experienced significant political reforms aimed at addressing the grievances that had fueled the conflict. Efforts were made to promote social justice, land reforms, and economic development, though progress was slow and uneven. Conclusion The War of the Thousand Days was a bloody and protracted conflict that emerged from political rivalries and socioeconomic disparities in Colombia. The war's devastating impact on the country's population and infrastructure underscored the urgent need for political reforms and social justice. While the conflict ended with a negotiated settlement, the war's legacy continued to shape Colombia's political landscape, socioeconomic dynamics, and the ongoing struggles for a more inclusive and equitable society.